I've seen a lot of network administrators who have kind of morphed into really, really good DBAs over the course of their career. And it seems like that's almost a natural progression. Um, maybe not always, but it seems like that's kind of where they come from. I, I very rarely see developers moving into the data space. I see more of them coming from almost like the hardware and ops side, you know? Hardware makes sense, yeah. Yeah. It, it, why do you think that is? Um, I'd say a lot of the work that the database administrator is doing is at the OS level. I mean, okay. you, many, many parts of being a DBA, and I'm, and I'm going back to when you actually had to manage this stuff mm -hmm. 20 years ago, was changing kernel parameters in, in Unix. Um, kernel right? with a K, right? Kernel with a K. Not a C. Not a C. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, just to clarify, uh, the kernel in an operating system is the layer of, of software that runs right on top of the hardware. Okay. Right. So you have, um, you have the hardware, then you have kind of your, your, the, the kernel that wraps that, which is the very low level assembly written software. And then on top of that, you have like the operating system commands and that kind of stuff. Right. So, okay. Um, yeah, like telling the database how much of the physical memory it can just have and the operating system won't try to touch it. Okay. Right. Sharing memory is not good. We don't, we don't like doing that we, in a database it, environment. It, it ends in what we call a kernel panic. Okay. That's what it's That's called. That's a real term. Real called. And uh, when this happens, your database is no longer available and you've failed as a DBA, <laughs> right? So would that be a good question to ask a DBA with experience? Say, hey, what's kernel panic? Yeah. That would be a good qualifying question. If yeah. they can answer that in a fairly succinct manner, they if, probably know what they're talking about. If they say, about. I've never heard of that, that should be a red flag. If they say, oh, well, that's, you know, when the, that's when the operating system just halts, <laughs> yeah. right? And I'm using very technical terms here. This is, yeah. this is what it says in the logs. Like, okay. Kernel panic, system halting now, goodbye, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you got a programmer with a sense of humor in the OS, it'll say goodbye. Okay. Otherwise, you know, you just get halting. It just goes away. Halting. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then your machine reboots and you... You, someone calls you and says the database isn't available and you, you log into the machine and you type uptime and it says up four minutes and you're like, Oof, okay, well, that's bad. Something bad happened. So, you know, what is a kernel panic? Let them tell you. Okay. How do you, how do you debug those? Okay. How do you figure out when that happens? Where do you start? Um, these are questions where, uh, even, even, a you know, people probably aren't even comfortable saying, I don't know. I, or, or, or probably aren't even comfortable trying to fumble their way through it. Right. I think you're going to get an answer or a, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs>